Workplaces could bar anti-vaxxers if they refuse COVID jab. Anti-vaxxers who reject a safe coronavirus jab. Now, there's no evidence of it being safe, number one. Number two, there's no evidence of it being safe. And number three, there's no evidence of it being safe. There's none. There's none. There's no. Is that? And the thing is, once you get the jab, say you, everyone gets the vaccine, there's going to be so many people who are going to get sick, so many people who are going to die, so many people who are going to be really injured, either like, it's un, you can't tell what the injuries are going to be, but there's definitely going to be a change in people. Then they're going to be like, oh, the, the virus has mutated. Now, if you've been studying or following along the things that I've been telling you, we all know what's up with the virus, but for them to come out and be like, it's mutated, they're going to tell you it's mutated. I've already heard them already suggesting mutation. So what would the point of these vaccines right now be, and you got to do, or you can't go to work, if it's going to mutate? It doesn't make any sense, not lo- any logical sense. Anybody who has like half a brain should be able to put this puzzle together pretty easily. He could see the day when bosses do not allow people into the office unless they be- receive their COVID vaccine. Like, wow. This is going. This is going to cause a lot of. This is going to cause a lot of like. But the thing is, they're, they're doing this. They're testing the boundaries. How far can we push this? How far can we push this, and how much can we get away with? They're they're seeing where they can, they they can get their boundary and keep it there. And the majority of people are going to be conformity. There's going to be a, a lot of conformity in the in society. I've seen it already with the masks. Go watch that video on YouTube called Conformity Brain Games. And like it's about this lady sitting down in an in a, in a eye appointment. Um, she's waiting for her eye appointment. Go watch that. It shows you why people are conforming. It's like part of peer, press, peer pressure. More like a follow the, follow the leader and monkey see, monkey do kind of scenario. Anyway... And the thing is, like, I had to travel to Guyana one time. I I traveled around the world lots doing performances, but this when I went, when I had to go to when I went to Guyana, I loved Guyana. Guyana, I wish I could come back and visit. But um, they wanted me to get. They're like, "Yo, you can't travel to this country unless you have a vaccination. Like, you have to show your vaccination." And I don't really remember having to show any kind of vaccination when I went to Guyana. When I flew in, all I passport and on I went. I do not I do not remember any type of like screening for vaccinations when I went when I went to Guyana. So uh, they were just trying to get an injection of all like he, there was like three or four different shots they're trying to put into me for for me going to Guyana. And I was like hell no. Um like who are these people? Like people need to go and look up who these companies are, the history, who who's behind them? It probably anybody who who's like listening or watching this, go do don't even use Google. Google is a terrible. It's completely compromised by algorithms and all this crap that's trying to like appease to the things you like, and it, they're not even really giving you the the results. You got to go to like DuckDuckGo and other alternatives. So if people, if you guys have another alternative that's a really good search engine, even Yahoo. Is better than Google right now. Uh, find out who they are. Find out as much as you can. Post it below in this uh, in this post. So the government is now making plans to roll out the vaccine alongside potentially others if they are if see the big word if you got to read their sentence if they are proven safe. Okay. They're not going to be proven safe ever. They're just going to roll it out and see what happens. Roll of a dice. All right. We expect so many casualties. They're going to, 
I mean, that's probably part of the plan. Like, they obviously want casualties. Like, this isn't for a safety. If they if if they were actually interested in us being safe, they would have rolled out a plan for healthy eating. They would have rolled out a plan for like, um, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables in your in your meals every day. Exercise at least fifteen minutes a day. They would have had something implemented for your health and sa- for your health and safety. Plenty of water, sunshine, get outdoors. But no. Let's inject you full of poison, full of mercury, full of aluminum, full of whatever else crap they're putting in you. I guarantee you it's crap. I would want to line up to get a vaccine. And then before they take it out of the box, I want the box. I'm, I'm going to take the box, walk out of the office, go to an independent lab and have them analyze exactly what the hell's in that shot. I want to know. I would pay whatever it costs and maybe we could do a GoFundMe and fund the independent lab to find out what exactly they're trying to put inside people. Anybody wants to be down for that, let me know. Um, Just read it here. Um... Look at this. A similar system could work with social venues like pubs and restaurants asking for vaccination certificates before allowing people in. They're telling you what they're going to do. This is they're not they're not saying could work. They're going to do this. Prepare for it. There's probably going to be an app or something where you they could you could scan and show that you got a vaccine. And this thing has been talked about and and people were warned in the beginning of this. Let me see. Asked whether it was worth thinking about COVID vaccinations being made compulsory. If, (sighs) if, if people don't do it, people aren't doing it because they're anti-vaxxer conspiracy theories. Like these are just key words you should key in on. Because if someone doesn't, like, okay, like, I don't want to drink bleach. Bleach is going to fuck me up. No, no, but you have to you have to drink bleach because it's going to disinfect your, 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 your bloodstream. It's going to kill all the ver- germs and viruses inside you. Yeah, but it says it's poisonous. It might kill me. Oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Oh, okay, because you said that. Bleach seems to be something we can all drink. Like, it sounds like that. Don't listen to people who've done research for 30, 40 years. Clearly shows you under a microscope. Mercury fucks up your brain. It eats away all the live tissue. Go look at, there's videos on YouTube when people are putting, like, mercury under a microscope and putting like human brain cells or they put something under they put different um human cells under under um a microscope with mercury and you can see mercury just fucking wrecking shit it might be too much for people it might be too much asking people to do that but if you have any interest to see what mercury can do to you that's there's some really good videos on that and not only that, aluminum, there's going to be like so much this aluminum, vaccine, heavy metals. There's all kinds of crap they're going to put in this shot. And that's why I would like to like get some sort of funding to take a shot, <laughs> get out of the office with it, and or get someone who's a doctor or someone who, you, who like, you know, that you know that can get, get you a shot that you can take to a lab and go get it analyzed. Um... And if vaccination works, if, see the word if, if is a big word, if, if, if it doesn't make you fat, if it doesn't eat your teeth and cause rotting from sugar, if pop doesn't do this, if, 
the if there's a, the the list of ifs go on and on, and if vaccination works, they're not even like they're not even using like language that says they're confident vaccination is a hundred percent it's gonna work if it works. If we're confident, it's safe. If see, it's so what? What's with all the if? If we're confident, if if we're confident, what the hell, What does that even mean? If I know what if means, but like, why would they say if we're confident? What does that mean? And all indications are good. Then I can certainly see the day when businesses say, "Look, you've got to return to the office, and if you're not vaccinated, you're not coming in." That's going to mess up a lot of people. I can see a situation where, yes, of course, you're free not to have the vaccine, but there are consequences. What, like being thrown into an isolation camp, but being labeled a a public threat, but being labeled an endangerment to the public health? Like, you're going to have whatever label they're going to put on people who don't get the vaccine or don't get tested. And then they're going to turn you versus the person who got the vaccine. It's going to be you versus like, how now now. Like, just people mask versus no mask. Vaccine versus anti-vax. It's, it's just going to be like a big, huge me versus you. A divide amongst the people. <sighs> wow. This is about to get crazy, y'all. Get ready. Get ready. And just keep in mind, I said that they're going to call it a mutation once people start getting vaccine and getting sick. Watch. Once you start seeing people going to the hospital, getting sick, that's when the hospitals are going to be full. That's when the hospitals are going to be overrun with people being sick after all these forced vaccinations or all these, like, they don't they try to make it they try to make it not seem like it's a forced vaccination, but yo, it's forced. If they're not gonna let you walk into the, your job and, and do your job and make your money to support your family, that's forced. I don't give a I don't care what they say. That's forced. I don't care what they say, that's forced. It might be time for y'all to like start your own business and make money at home. Cause like it's not gonna be worth having to walk into a, a, a work. That believes in this bullshit. I mean, even a lot of companies, because they're under government, they they get the government license or whatever. They have to follow whatever the government is mandating or whatever. But they're not going to make it law. There's no way they're going to write laws this fast. Unless, I mean, they already have the Quarantine Act. (sighs) You know, man, people are... Just prepare. Just be ready. It's coming. It's coming. 